One. One, two. Check me out right here, yo. Espanol. Mike the Troop Jackson here. Four Ounce Fight Club. Another episode of Fighters Talk. Today I'm joined by Larry Taekwon Crow. Yes, sir. Man, Larry, now you're set to um, fight again. Legacy 37 card next weekend, Houston, Texas. You're taking on Quentin Henry. Now, Quentin, he's no one really knows who he is out here in Houston. Now, what do you know about your opponent? Uh, I know he's a 7-1 out of Louisiana, and he's a brawler. So that's all I care about. Good record. I heard he's a brawler, so let's, let's put on a show. Now, were you able to watch his last fight for Legacy when uh, I can't remember the number, but Legacy headed to Shreveport? Were you able to watch that fight? Yeah, uh, my teammate Jeff had uh, had a fight on there, so I watched the whole card. I got to watch him. Uh, I think he submitted the guy with an armbar or something. Uh, decent stand-up, but uh, nothing that you know pushed me away to think that he was a big threat. But I mean, I ain't gonna never put nobody down as not being a threat, though. So was there anything that you saw that maybe you feel that you can exploit in the fight and have an advantage over your opponent? Uh, you know, he fought a dude that was like 37, 38 years old. So he's going to be dealing with a lot different person than me. You know, I'm a little bit younger, a lot stronger, a lot quicker. So, you know, you can't really can't judge off of one fight. But uh, I just look, look to come here and put some fireworks on. Definitely. Uh, clearly, you're, you're a different athlete yeah. than, than his last opponent. Now, for you, we haven't seen you in a while. Uh, what was the reason for the, the long layoff? Contract, contract, contract. You know, uh, I had an injury. I tore some cartilage in my rib, and that's put me off for like three, four months. But after that, just trying to get a contract with Legacy. You know, they're, they come up a long way since, you know, back in the days where I can get on every card. So <laughs> it, I was on every, every card they had I was on. So it's just getting a good fight contract. So I got a three-fight deal. So. It's pretty That's good. great, man. Yeah, Lexi has come a long way since those days when yeah. it was just local talent. They're bringing in guys from all over the country. Yo. Yeah, all over the world it's now. The world, yeah. So it's a, it's a different experience now. Now I know there's more top talent in here, and they're looking for the best fighters. So, I mean, it's all better for me and everybody else in the in Legacy roster right now. Now, with an experienced fighter as Quentin Henry, what do you feel or what do you think will happen with the win over him? Is it possibly a title shot? Uh, is it a UFC? Like, what do you feel is next with the win over Quinn Henry? I know I've been getting kind of a few words from Colin that uh, I'm pretty sure that may be a title shot after this. But, uh, you know, I'm always looking to go to UFC. I love legacy, but you know, always want to push yourself to the best talent. So, I mean, one or two more wins, you know, hopefully I get the call. But, you know, if I don't, I'm going to still fight for legacy, finish this contract, and hopefully be a champion one day. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, it seems as of late that the UFC is almost picking their talent from, you know, almost just free will. Now, if the UFC were to call and offer you a fight, let's say on short notice like they have with several different fighters, uh, do you feel that you could make the 185 on short notice or would you take a, a, a go into a higher weight class like some of the other legacy fighters have done? Man, I don't turn down any call from the UFC. I mean, I've made weight. I've lost 30, 35 pounds in a week before, so... I mean, I'm around 194 right now, so no weight would be, you know, too far to my, my realm of making. So they give me the call. I'm taking it. I mean, I hate to leave legacy, but, you know, at the same time, you got to take your – when you ever get a shot, you got to take your shot. Definitely. So you're saying for you fighting at 185, you typically walk around at a lower – in the 190s, or is that just closer to wait time when you're walking around at that the, uh, in the 190s? It depends. Uh, I've been training a lot with Derek Lewis, so uh, I try to stay around 215, 220 just to be a little heavier for him. But I usually walk around in, <clears throat> anywhere from 205 to 215. So, okay. I mean, anything is doable if, when you got UFC on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, Larry, man, you, again, we're, we're seeing you fighting live on Access TV next week against Quentin Henry. Definitely looking forward to seeing Taekwon Crow back in the cage. I appreciate it, man.